domestic violence. Are you here? Please come forward, introduce yourself. <laughs> we saved the best for last, but if there's anyone else who uh, would like to testify, there is still time. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Thank you all for your endurance as well. My name is Lydia Waligorski, and I'm the Public Policy Director for the Colorado Coalition Against Domestic Violence. And um, several witnesses have referred to it, but the coalition could not let a conversation like this go by without just informing um, everyone how much domestic violence plays into the situation. When we interview women, we know that 92% of homeless women have experienced domestic violence. We know that over 50%, and I'm no joke, 50% of homeless people in the metro Denver area are women and children, and a good number of those, some studies say as high as 60%, are homeless due to domestic violence. And so we are working on this issue. We are working with um, partners and in collaboration, but we cannot do enough. Personally, when I worked at Safe House Denver for five years on the overnight shift, the worst part of my job was to tell people we had no more room, that we were full up, that we were 27 beds, and I, didn't know, I had no idea where you were going to sleep tonight, and they had called every other shelter. And when they told me in desperation, I'm going to have to sleep in my car, and I'm going to have to sleep in the park. The worst, I'm sorry, it really touched me to touch on you tonight in this beautiful community. I was afraid for them. I was afraid for. Oh. Sorry. What would happen if the police contacted them further? Where would their kids go? Where would they go? And so I don't know if this is the right bill. I know that we're doing all that we can, but we need to recognize that people sometimes don't need another ticket and don't need to be further criminalized for situations that are beyond their control. So thank you. Thank you, Lydia, for that, uh, those comments. I can't imagine how traumatic it is to have to turn people away, especially if there's children involved. And we know what happens oftentimes if you, they're in the car, homeless, and there's kids, you never know if that family is going to be separated. Mm -hmm. So um, thank you for sharing that story. Members, any questions? Representative Danielson. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Lydia, for being here. Um, I just wanted to clarify, you said you might not know if this is the right bill. Um, is CCADV supporting or opposing or neutral? Or Right now we are supporting um, this bill, and I haven't seen all of the amendments. <laughs> no, that's helpful. Yes. Thank, thank you. Other questions? Thank you for um, hanging out with us today. And before we close the testimony portion of this hearing, is there anyone else here that did not get a chance to sign up and would like to testify um, on this bill. <laughs> Seeing none, we're going to close the testimony portion of this hearing. At this point, the, um, the bill is on the table.